Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Lulu Nebu with 1,247 rating versus Nash with 1,624. And before we hop in, uh, Clout Tourney number two is canceled. Not enough people wanted it, so they obviously, like, if I can't get enough people to enter it, can't have it. So number two is canceled. Uh, shout out to PPG, everyone I met down there. You guys are awesome. Uh, hopefully, like me and Blessin get to go back down in December. That'd be pretty cool. Also, the Blessin's gonna have a YouTube channel soon, so uh, I'll be talking about that on my channel soon. Um, and let's just hop right in. So we see Nash from the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and he's gonna decide to go first. Forty versus forty. You gotta love to see it. Opening hand is Mutant Expansion, Necro Face, ST Forty Six Shifter, and Lab. Shifter is really, really, really good in this deck. This card's crazy. And then he has Meltdown, Invocation, Driver, Nib, Invocation. So this obviously isn't a good hand. He's going to use Meltdown, add Alistair, and then Summon It, Effect, to add Invocation. And then he's going to drop Shifter um, after the resolution of Alistair. So that way he can't just like link it away. Three invocation, and that sucks. He's gonna use invocation, summon out Macaba, and then pass turn, draws Valor. I mean, I I don't know. Like the Macaba doesn't really do anything. I guess it's just like a big body. Uh, draws Valor. Normal summon ST forty six. Use the effect. Um, he can't use Macaba because it says send from hand the grave and shifters up. Alright, yeah, he caught it. So, he's going to add Mutant Cry. And then, ST46 effect, banish that, and Necro Face. And then, he's going to bring out Beast. And then, Necro Face effect. That's going to make him banish a Knight from deck. So, if he only plays one, that could come up. Does he banish a Necro Face off of it? No. It's really cool when you, like, necro-face, banish a necro-face. Main decks there can only be one also. Interesting. He's going to use lab, a lab effect, bring back MO5, and then use that. That's going to let him add ST46. And then M05 effect, banish, banish, bring out arsenal. Then battle phase, beat over Macaba. Um, he's just reading them to make sure he knows what they do, which is completely understandable. Uh, I don't even know what these cards do exactly. Um, I know, like, a, a lot of what they do, but I don't get, like, the point of the deck. I've only seen this deck play, like, twice. It's not a very popular deck. Uh, it gets banished because of D-Shifter, and then attack for 27, set cry, and then they all gain attack because of the lab, because he has three different... Passes turn, draws Imperm, and then he's just going to admit defeat. He had a really bad hand. Uh, moving on into game number two, we are going to see the Invoked player go first. Opening hand is ST46, Extravagance, Arsenal, D-Shifter, Lab. Again with the D-Shifter, you got to love to see it. This card is crazy. You literally just use it, and your opponent like can't play. Like The decks that you can use this in, it's really good. And then he has Talons, Ash, Nadir's Servant, Judgment, and Alistair. This hand's crazy. This hand is, like, this hand is actually like perfect. Now let's see if he uses D-Shifter and Standby to play around Talons. I don't think he will since game one he didn't. But Invoked, I think is it's pretty obvious that they play Talons. Like every list has been. So maybe he'll do it. Chooses not to. He's going to Normal Summon Alistair Effect. Add Invocation. And then D shifter on res, talents look at hand. And that's gonna hit ST forty six. Then set judgment, pass turn, draws expansion, uses extravagance, banish six. It's gonna get hit with ash. And then activate lab. Um he's gonna judgment the lab. That's gonna be really tough on him. 
set expansion and pastorals desires. He has like three of the best cards he could have in hand right now. He's gonna link in the Amirage and then go into Secure Gardener. Then he's gonna use expansion. That's gonna bring out M05. And he's gonna get that effect, which is gonna let him add ST46. And then Invocation, summon out Makaba. Uh, this is just gonna be game. Invocation, grab back Alistair, the normal effect. Add Invocation, then make Purgatrio. And then he can add your servant. Yeah, he's gonna admit defeat. There's not really anything you can do about that. Like you're just gonna lose. Uh, moving on to game three, we're gonna see mutants go first. Opening hand is Droll St46 Droll Necro Face Expansion. Sucks to draw two Drolls, but it's really, really, really good in this matchup since all of their engine cards all search. Then he has Invocation, Terraforming, Alistair, Talents, Invocation. Again, double Invocation plus Alistair. I guess it's better to draw double Invocation plus Alistair than double Invocation, no Alistair. He's going to Normal Summon ST46, Effect, Add Mutant Cry, and then use ST46 Effect, bringing out Beast, and then Necro Face. Hopefully, oh, he rips the Invocation out of deck. That's actually going to come up. Because now, like, if he summons, he's not going to get the surge. And his opponent will know that he has invocations in hand. But will his necroface hit a necroface? Oh, it does. Okay, but now the real question is, will that necroface hit a necroface? It does not. But, still banishing 10 cards out of his and his opponent's deck. He doesn't even know it, but, like, banishing the invocation was really good. And then set expansion and cry, pass turn, draw ash. He's going to stand by expansion. He's going to ash that effect. And then terraforming to add meltdown. And then he's going to get hit by droll. Um, so now he's opened the talons. He can still like set Alistair if he wants to. And then invocation. It's going to activate Meltdown, set Alistair, activate Talents to rip Droll out of hand. And then he's going to use Beast Effect to banish Expansion to negate that. And then he's going to Invocation, banish, banish, bring out Purgatrio. And he had to like Meltdown, or he could have just like Talents tried taking, and then he would negate. And then he could have left Meltdown in hand. Or is this not once per turn? Oh, no, no, it is once per turn. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, he's going to add back Alistair with Invocation and Purgatrio beat over. And then he's going to get that effect. Oh, yeah, this is going to be really good. He's going to get to add back Expansion. Draws Blast. Um, he said, only by an opponent's effect, no battle. Does it say that? If this card and its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card. Oh, no, because it would have to say card effect for it to mean effect. He's going to use cry, shuffle back beast, ST46, bring out Cynthia's. And then he's going to use that effect, which is going to destroy something on field, destroys Meltdown. What else does this card do exactly? When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can activate this effect. Oh, okay. I, I already know that. It makes the side weights unaffected. I forgot. Th this card is the one that's not super good. It's the other one that's really good. Um, He's thinking in damage. He's just going to let it go through, and then he's going to get the effect, which is going to let him add back a mutant card. He's going to add back M05 and then main phase 2, summon it and use the effect. Then it's going to let him add ST46 and then M05 effect, banish and send, bring out arsenal. And then pass turn, draws Ecclesia. So he hasn't been through like his uh, Amarash Secure Garden yet. He's going to normal summon and then link away because the other two invocate or. 
The invocation's banished. The other one isn't. So I guess he's not using it to play around Droll. Um, which I guess is fair enough since he already has invocation. Summon out Secure Garden, uh, then invocation, banish, banish, bring out Macabre. Then invocation, grab back Alistair. And then special summon out Ecclesia. And then he's going to get that effect. He's thinking here. He's going to let that go through. Adds Maximus. And then drops Droll on him. Summon out Maximus. Um, by banishing the Amirage. And then he's thinking here. He's going to use Arsenal effect. And he's going to banish the Blast. To try to banish the Makaba. And then Makaba effect get rid of Alistair to try to banish the Arsenal. He's going to send Ash and Omega. And then he's going to send two Ultimas. Does this card get its effect? No, that'd be crazy if it got its effect there. I was going to say, he's just going to get to add back like every banished card. He's going to Omega effect to shuffle back Cynthia's. And then tack for 15, tack for 25. And then end phase, Ash, bring out Knight. He can't add because of Jarrell. Jarrell's ST46. Um, going up against Nona Gates. He's going to summon, and then he's going to get that effect. And he's going to add Lab. And then activate Lab, Lab effect, bring out M05. And then he's going to get that effect, which is going to let him add ST46. And then lab effect. And he's going to do that. Puts it to the bottom of the deck to draw. Draws extravagance. That's not good. I mean, it was an extra card, so it's uh, extravagance, which is cool. And then he's just going to get rid of it, bring out mist. So, didn't do too much with that. And then ST46 effect. Bring out Beast. It does leave one of these left in deck, though, which is good. For sure. And then he's going to Beast beat over Makaba. Gangs attack from Lab. And then Mist beat over Maximus. Like, the perfect being able to beat over that. And then draws Desires. Oh, they always draw Desires when they need it. I mean, it doesn't, like, matter too much here. Like, he still has to... I mean, it does matter, because he's going to beat over this, because this is the spell negate, and then this is the uh, trap card one. The, like, I like how they don't have a trap negate, because that doesn't really come up in this format. I really like how they made this card. I think it was really smart how they made it. Um, so if he just outs this, then he can desire his main phase two. And he's going to get the effect, add back expansion. Or why am I saying expansion? It's expansion. I can't even talk. Like these cards are so hard to name. I don't. I don't know. Weird names. I'm just not good with new names. Then he's gonna desires banish ten. But anyone that's watched the channel knows I'm not good with new names. I have to be used to it. Draw schism and invocation. Uh, not crazy draws. I mean the invocation is cool. Then he's going to Invocation, Banish Alistair, plus Maximus, bring out Makaba. Then Invocation, grab back Alistair, set Schism, and then pass turn, draws Ash. Battle phase, beat over Makaba. Then main phase 2, set Expedition and pass. Draws now to your Servant. Summon Alistair, effect, get hit with Ash. So, this was like a really good draw, for sure. He keeps top decking like crazy. It's gonna add your servant, send Winda, and then add Ecclesia. Switch to attack, Knight try to beat over Mist. And then he's gonna get that effect to add back ST46. And then Alistair attack. 
An Ecclesia attack. He's going to use Expansion. Why can't I say this now? I feel like I was saying it right at the beginning of the video. He's going to bring out ST46. I'm just overthinking it now. He's going to summon and use the effect. Add Mutant Cry. And then Ecclesia still beat over. Draw Ash. So he's using different Ash in his deck. I always like to like note that because like on DB, like sometimes when I'm testing something out, I'll use like a different art of it. So that way I know like when I draw that, like if like if you're already playing like two Ash, just throw like the uh, this Ash in instead as like the third one, just to see if you like the third Ash or not. Not like Ash specifically, but you get the point. So you're gonna get to add the trap. And then ST46, Banish, Send, Bring Out Beast. This is a long game. He's going to beat over Ecclesia. See, I know a lot of people like grind matches like this. I just like combo. Like, I just like attack, game, next game, attack, game, next game. Maybe not even the attacks because, like, you don't make it that far. And then he's going to set Cry and X Panansion. Why can't I say this anymore? I feel so dumb. I'm going to look up how to say this after the video. Or just like listen to how I said it at the beginning. Draw Punishment. He's going to summon Ecclesia. No effect. Um, Can't. Because these are both spellcasters. No, they didn't catch it. Oh, no. Okay, cool. They caught it. When, now he knows like where the mutant cries at, which kind of sucks. Yeah, he's just gonna use it anyways now. And then shuffle back three, and then bring out Ultimus. And then he's gonna night attack. And then he's gonna ultimus to stop that by banishing. This is like Macabo, just like ten times better. And he's gonna yeah, I was gonna say you can't flip schism during battle. Main phase two, set punishment, pass turn, activate the trap, bring out M05, and he's gonna get that effect to add mist. Draws mutant fusion. This card's really cool. And then Lab. It's going to send back, draw Valor. M05 effect. Send and banish, chain Schism. Chain Ultimus. And then chain Punishment on Beast. Sending Elder. Is he going to pop this? He's going to get so many free cards. Like, just watch how crazy this is about to be. He's going to get the add back, and he's going to get the add back again. Like, look at that. Oh, he forgot to summon Mist with 005. Oh, yeah, because that would have been, like, in the chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about it, too. And then use Fusion... Bring out Cynthia's. He's going to get that effect to destroy the Ecclesia lab. Bring out ST46 effect. There's no way. like He has so many search targets in this deck. It's actually crazy. He summoned this like every turn in the last like 30 turns and got the search. Like His opponent went through like Desires. And they still almost have like the same amount of cards in deck. That's just how many searches he's been doing. Bring out Arsenal. And his opponent's on a search deck. That's crazy. I want to like know how many cards he searched this game. It's probably in like the 20s. Attack over Alistair. This is game, right? Yeah, because they gained 400. He's already at 69. The 1,000 doesn't matter. So, yeah, GG's. What a crazy match. It was, it was 69 minutes long. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, that's really, really, really long. They would have been in time 
I actually want to see when they would have been in time. Would have been like after game one. No, it, it would have been in game three where they would have been in time. What an interesting like matchup too. Oh, uh, this deck's really cool. I don't think it's. I definitely don't think it's like the best deck. Um, it has potential over time though. Just like a lot of other decks, like the Virtual World deck. I don't think that's the best deck right now, but I definitely think that you should like learn how to play it because it definitely has potential in the future. But uh, that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.